Hey, it's Amanda the Consistency Queen here with another video. Today it's my top three tips to getting into a positive mindset. So we're gonna get right into it. These are all things that I personally experienced on my journey in self-development. So I'm gonna share them all with you. Number one is consumption. Consume, consume, consume. And what I mean by that is make sure you're consuming good, positive content. When I first was starting on my journey, that's what I did. I was always watching a lot of YouTube videos or maybe different podcasts or listening to audiobooks all around self-development and they were all positive. And the reason why this is so important is because we're influenced by everything, right? Not just by the people around us, our environment, like our physical environment, but also anything that we listen to, anything that we watch, right? It is very, very important that we are consuming positivity versus negativity. This is exactly why I stay away from the news because um, the news is just posting everything that's bad that's going on. Um, when you focus on lack versus focusing on abundance, you're going to notice that in your life and you're going to notice that in your mindset, right? If you keep watching all this negative stuff, your mindset's going to become very negative and you're going to have a very negative perception and, you know, pessimistic viewpoint of the world. And so I choose to consume things that are only feeding me life, right? That are positive, feeding my mind all positive things. And I notice that makes a huge difference. And that's what's really helped me on this mindset journey. And guys, at the beginning, I was obsessed, okay? I was watching, you know, mindset positive success videos and autobiographies and like listening to books, you know, podcasts, like every time that I had off time, that's the kind of stuff I was consuming. And honestly, it made all the difference. You know, it took a long time, of course, I've been on this journey for eight years now. Um, but at the beginning of my journey, especially, it was so important that I did that. Like I became obsessed with self-development and getting into a positive growth mindset and success and all those kind of things. And once your mind gets consumed with all of this positivity, you, don't, you can't help but have a positive mindset, right? Because at the end of the day, if you are someone who doesn't necessarily have a positive mindset, your mind right now is filled with thoughts, ideas that aren't empowering, that are not good. And so the only way to get those things out is by filling it with good, right? And slowly the bad comes out once you're filling it in with good. And so it's very, very important, especially if you are in a negative environment, uh, very important that you kind of just like block yourself out and focus in and just pay attention to the podcast, pay attention to, you know, the YouTube videos and really just block out the rest that's around you, like the chaos around you um, and really just focus in on those people. You know, like I really believe they were my mentors, like people that I listened to. And so I listened to a lot of people, you know, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn. I listened to um, Impact Theory. I really liked that YouTube um, Ed Milet, um, who else? Andy Fasella, you know, a lot of business stuff too. Um, Gary V, I also listen to Gary V. There's a lot of people I listen to, um, but they're all people who have, you know, growth positive mindsets and are successful. Um, and just so you know, to be successful, you need to have a good positive winning mindset, right? And so that's only going to come by following tip number one, which is consuming. All right, I could go on and on and on about this because literally I feel like this was one of the biggest reasons why I, you know, changed my mindset was because I was consuming so much of that content. So, you know, that's why I'm stressing this so much, guys. Number one is very important. But let's move on to number two. Number two, I think, has to be self-awareness, okay? Very, very important that we need to start developing the habit of being self-aware. Uh, most of the time, we're not. You know, some people are very in tune, really pay attention to their thoughts and their feelings and, you know, what triggers them, what doesn't trigger them, and they're really analyzing everything about their thoughts and their life. 
Um, but not everyone's like that. I know for me, I was not like that before at all. Um, I just kind of was just like living day to day. I wasn't really like paying attention to myself in that way. Um, wasn't really paying attention to much, honestly. Um, but it's like that sometimes, right? And so that might be you. You might have been just like me. And so self-awareness is huge, okay? And I think one of the best ways to gain self-awareness, if it's something that you struggle with, like I used to, um, is journaling, okay? I actually recommend this a lot to a lot of people because it's a great way to just self-reflect, like taking out time to actually sit down and write it down um, really helped me. And you can really just self-reflect, you know? Things that I used to ask myself or write about in the journal, like I would, at the end of the day, think about like my day, right? And then just ask myself, you know, did I get triggered in any way? You know, did I get emotional? Um, was it a positive or negative emotion and why? Why did I react that way, right? Do I have some limiting beliefs around this thing or whatever it is? And so I would just kind of analyze my day, my thoughts, my feelings, and all that kind of stuff. And by doing that, you're gaining a lot of self-awareness. And self-awareness is super, super important. It's kind of like the first step, right, to improving, getting better as a person. So I really think that that's really important. And, you know, why not try it? Journaling might work for you like it did for me. And number three, this is the last one. This one, I think, you know, you have to be in a certain mindset already to really understand maybe. Um, but I'm going to talk about it anyways, that perception is really, you know, the meaning that we give things we create. So you choose, you know, what you want meanings to be for certain things, if that makes sense. At the end of the day, if you feel happy or sad or negative or positive, it is because of the meaning or the perception that you have around that thing that's making you feel that way in that moment, right? So analyze what it is that you're maybe upset about and ask yourself, what is my perception? Like what is the meaning that I'm giving this right now and how can I change it to make it empowering to me, okay? So if you really do this, it's gonna really be powerful and change your life in such a crazy, crazy way. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick example um, but you know, like someone might have the exact same issue. Maybe someone just found out they had cancer, right? Which is obviously something nobody wants. And you know, one person who has cancer might be thinking, oh my God, this is the end of the world. They're sad, depressed, right? And they think that they're going to pass away or whatever. And then another person might react completely different, right? And they might just still be happy, joyful. Um, you know, you've probably heard of examples of this happening right? Because they just have a different perception and they probably think, you know, oh, whatever it is, what it is, I'll beat that. Like cancer's not going to beat me. Maybe that's what their mindset is. Or maybe they're just a person that believes, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm going to be good either way. You know, whatever it is, like whatever your beliefs are and your meanings towards life and your meanings towards certain things that are happening in your life, that's what matters. Perception really controls your life and whether you are happy or not happy, positive or negative, right? It's your perception of the world and it's your perception of your meaning of the world. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that this video helped someone out there. Um, if you guys have any questions around mindset or, you know, my journey in mindset, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys liked this topic, please hit that like button. If you found this useful, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button as well. Um, and that is it from me. I hope you guys have an amazing day and remember, do the impossible.